Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Pastor Alan Bailey from Gathering Church. Uh, I've been in prayer this morning, and I want to say a few things that might not make me the most popular man on the planet. Um, but last night, my wife said some things to me, just personally in our conversation, and it, it stirred in me all night. And this morning, with the Becoming Center guys, we're walking around praying, and the Lord really just began to quicken me about this. And I want to say this, and I'm including myself in all of this. Those of us as ministers of the gospel, if we were really as spiritual as we want everybody to believe we were, we wouldn't have been surprised by this. So we have some repenting to do, and we have some things to fix, and we need to stop being concerned with nickels and noses and how many people are here and how much money we're making in our church and all those kind of things. And we need to get back to what we're called to do. And what we're called to do is stand in the gap between these people and what the enemy is sending in our direction. God has anointed us to stand in the gap. God has anointed us to talk to people about Him and to talk to Him about people. But in that, we've been given the authority to stand against the enemy. And if we were really, really where we should have been, we should have handled this before it ever got this big. So we need to put down our coffee. We need to stop worrying about our fashion. We need to stop seeing who likes us on Facebook. We need to stop seeing how many shares we have. And we need to get back to the task that we were called to. So I'm going to pray. And I'm going to pray for you and all the leaders and all the ministers of the gospel around this country and around this world. And I hope we all just can come together and stop worrying about who's getting arrested and who's having church. And let's do what we were called to do. So Father, in the name of Jesus, first of all, I, I want to say personally, God, I'm sorry. I repent as a minister of the gospel, I repent as somebody that you called. I repent that I've been too focused on church growth and not focused on growing these people and growing myself in you. Lord, you are raising up a generation that would just be hungry for you. I pray that we get back to the place where our eyes are stayed upon you and perfect peace is at work. Lord, I lay my heart open before you now. God, I'm sorry. We should have been more prepared than this. I take ownership in that, but Lord, I thank you that you're good to forgive and that you take us right where we are and you grow us real fast and put us back into the field to do your warfare. So right now in the name of Jesus, as a minister of the gospel, we take authority over sickness, over disease, over everything that Jesus took to the cross. We take authority over the coronavirus and the after effects. We take authority over the bickering between the churches on how to handle this thing. We take authority over the strife, the issues, the problems. And Lord, right now, as we stand and we know that you are our provider, you've already given us the word. And the word says it's upon the rock of revelation of Jesus Christ and the gates of hell will not prevail. So we will not be affected any longer by this weapon. The weapon was formed and it tries, but it will not affect us. It will not prosper in Jesus name. Now I wanna say, I love you and I'm taking this correction as much as the rest of the world is, I'm sure. And what I, I don't assume to think I know it all, but I know what he said to me. And it's time for us to stop being concerned about the menial things and get back to the task at hand. And well, let's do it in his name. I love you.